Creating large scale multi domain operations is a challenging feat. Now you combine that with small unit tactics and you got a next to impossible goal. However, this game sets out and accomplishes just that. It accomplishes everything it tries to achieve and it's a fantastic sight to behold. But before we get started, if you like military strategy, tactics, and doctrine and seeing it applied to strategy games, this is definitely the channel for you. So make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Patreon for free after action reports and head on over to the community tabs to join after video discussions. War games, they attract players from almost every genre. Looking for unique and challenging experiences. Players' skills will be tested in high intensity combat, resource management, weapon systems knowledge. However, immersion is often the key feature that will lead to success in any war game. Armor Brigade is no different. Armor Brigade is one of those rare gems that sets out and accomplishes everything it wants. And the worst part is, players will often overlook it because of the graphics. And I myself overlooked it as well. But once I discovered it, I noticed that I was missing something. And it's one of my favorite games. It's a guilty pleasure of mine, and I cannot boast about it enough. I want every player to experience the fun and tactical combat that I experienced. It has an extremely dedicated following, one similar to Graviteam and an amazing World War II mod that players need to experience. It has infinite amount of weapon systems. We have air support on standby. We have helicopters path and on their way in. And we're going to call A-10s in to provide us with fire support. Once our A-10s arrive, we're also going to schedule artillery. Our artillery mission, we have weapon systems that range from high explosives, dual purpose, improvised cluster munitions, smokes, and illumination rounds. We can set our target area and launch a massive artillery assault, which is going to force the enemy to react to our tactical maneuvers and reconsider their offensive. Armor Brigade is currently $23.99 on Steam, and it's a complete steal at that price. And I'm going to highlight some of the features that separate it from the war games that are out there. While this looks like a 2D game, it's actually fantastic. It has a 3D isometric mode that allows players to review and view the battle in a 3D view. It also has some of the most common characteristics that other war games have. If we were to select a unit, we can provide it with a range of commands ranging from set soft targets to set hard targets to ensure that our units only engage the targets that we want them to. Our APCs will only engage soft targets while our tanks preserve their munitions and engage hard targets. Armor Brigade is possibly one of the most accessible games there is. As you can see we're currently hammering down on this T-76 BTR. But it has what most war games don't, and that's polish and accessibility. Accessibility is what drive most players away, whether it's some complicated hex encounter game or even a graviteam, which is just managing units with a unique interface. Armor Brigade allows players to command armies of various sizes. As you can see, we have a small unit. We're attempting to achieve our goals of securing both these villages. However, this battle is on one of the way smaller sizes. We can have 15,000 point battles where we co attempt to conquer whole countrysides. Battles will rage across mountains, across rivers, in the air, with artillery, and massive infantry assaults. Something that's truly a sight to behold that most war gamers will appreciate. Even the non-war gamer will appreciate su the size of some of these battles. And none of it is intensely micro heavy. You just plan out your initial contact and watch the battle unfold. However, just because you do that doesn't mean there won't be some ch choices you need to make or some tactical changes. As you can see, we're attempting se to secure two villages right here while we battle across the plains. Once we enter these villages, we'll, have a c we'll need to adjust our strategy to focus on more of a urban warfare tactic. So we'll need to position our units inside buildings and secure points and choke points and provide overwatch across the plains as the Soviets attempt to launch their assault and secure the village before us.
Launching our cluster munitions is going to be awesome. As you can see, they're about to fall on this tank that's just sitting in the middle, a possible tracked vehicle. But honestly, we haven't even dove into what makes this game unique. Which is unfortunate because there's so much to talk about. Whether we're talking about the line of sight tool, as you can see, simple yet easy to use that provides players with ranges, which is key to understanding how to enable and execute weapon systems and tactics. Or we can click on our mark tool and mark each unit, whether it's destroyed, or we can hold the control key and begin to draw lines of our front line. As you can see, where we can plan, plan phase lines and assault, our A-10s are currently launching their assault and looking for targets. The 30 mil gal cannon just instantly destroyed those vehicles and smoke has been deployed. The weapon systems are next to endless in Armor Brigade and I think it's something you're really going to enjoy mastering. Weapons galore, my favorite part. Smoke, anti-personnel mines, thermal sites, heavily deployed improvised cluster munitions, top attack missiles, anything a war gamer could ask for and something that is awesome and one of my favorite things. Moving our helicopter in position to provide fire support so they can continue to engage these tanks. As you can see, there's a time factor. We should have launched this air assault much sooner. However, lucky for us, we can schedule another mission because we've only set one of our guns to fire. In one minute, we'll be able to launch a massive cluster strike on these units to one, destroy these vehicles and engage any infantry that are there while our units continue to secure this objective, all while maintaining a strong tactical defensive position. Unfortunately, we need to continue to engage units across this battlefield as we slowly destroy these vehicles. This game has had several DLCs and it's honestly continu it's continued support. Something that I can't say about other games that once they release, the support dies off, there's no DLCs. But this game continues to get it, and it's one of my favorite things. Any war game that gets long-term support is one of my favorites. Especially with a dedicated community creating World War II mods, you can't really look down upon that. The simplicity of the Armor Brigade is something that makes it unique. Whether we want to advance our units across this battlefield, or just take up a defensive position along this line. All those choice, we have all those options at our disposal. And something that's honestly awesome to do. However, we can select our units and also change and adjust their formation. As you can see, we have line, column, wedge, V, and a myriad of other formations. One of the most important is the spacing formation. We can tell our units to get further apart or closer together, which is key when launching an attack because we don't want to succumb to cluster bombs or heavy artillery. In 14 seconds, our artillery is going to fall, destroying all units in this area. The game also allows you to pause, something that is a favorite of mine, something that reminds me of regiments. This pause feature is truly a standout feature that I think most war games are going to need. It allows you to pause and walk away from your computer for a moment because battles of all sizes can rage on either for short durations of five minutes or long, complicated multi-domain operations where you need to pause, walk away, or think about your strategy on how you want to engage the Soviets or the Americans by chance. As our cluster munitions begin to fall, we can see this tree line is heavily fortified by the Soviet position. T-72s, infantry platoons, and T-62s. We can see that down here our M1Bs continue to engage with all sorts of fire and we can review their weapon system to determine if they have thermal vision right here under night vision and their maximum range and, if they're, and their damage. Overall something that's really interesting. We continue to fire and now we need to launch both of our... Oops artillery supports. I hit the wrong button. I want to do fire all. As we readjust, we're going to hit the fast forward button and speed it up so we don't have to sit here and watch the counter scroll down. Once at less than one, once at zero, zero, we'll launch this assault. As you can see, the, the battle's continuing to heat up right here. And then we're going to go back into our artillery tab 
and launch. Fire all. Cluster munitions are going to rain down on the Soviet position, piercing their armor with top attack, mi top attack munitions. Our M1s continue to engage the Soviets. And we continue to secure this position down on the south side. However, we only set volleys for one. And there it is. Fantastic. A perfect hit on that Soviet offensive. So, if you're on the fence on whether or not you want to buy Armor Brigade, make sure you review this video and leave a comment down below. And let me know what you think, because Armor Brigade is worth every single penny. And I think you're going to enjoy your time with it, playing through the campaigns or the single scenarios. And we have completely blunted the Soviet offensive, which is always a pleasure to see when, your tactical situ when the tactical situation turns in your favor. If, anyway, if anything, have a wonderful day, and make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe.